Hi gang! Motors taken from cordless drills can be handy for a number of things. In my case, I'm using two of them inside my BB-8 droid to power two wheels, both for moving and turning. So I thought I'd show you how to remove a drill motor from a drill. It's trickier than you might think, and I had to try a few different methods with the one in this video. Where do you get drills? When the batteries are no longer able to charge, most people throw the drills out or sell them cheaply at yard sales or just give them away. I've gotten a bunch from all these methods. After you've removed the battery, the first thing you need to do is remove the chuck. That's this piece on the front. Open the chuck all the way. If you look inside, you should see a screw. To unscrew it, you'd usually have to turn it the opposite way that you're used to. Turn it clockwise. Make sure you keep the screw. The next part is the hard part. The chuck is also threaded and screwed onto the drill. To remove it, you need to rotate the entire chuck in the other direction, counterclockwise. One way to do that is to get the largest Allen key, or Allen wrench, you have that'll fit in the drill. Tighten it into the chuck as you would a drill bit. Set the drill to low gear, though you can play around with the different settings until you find whatever makes it hardest to turn the chuck counterclockwise. Your drill may also have a lock on it that prevents the trigger from moving. When it's like that, the chuck is easy to turn, so unlock it. You should be able to press the trigger, and the motor should be harder to turn. Then hold the drill flat against the table, clamp it if you have to, and give it sharp, strong blows to the Allen key, rotating it in the counterclockwise direction. If you're lucky, that will work, but it didn't this time. So I next provide some power for the drill. I don't have the proper drill batteries, so I hook up some other ones. This has worked for me in the past with other drills, but not this time. The next thing I try is to clamp the drill in a vise. I assemble parts from a socket set and put them in the drill. Then I use a high power, fast drill to try turning it with a rapid spin up. That also doesn't work this time. So the last option I can think of is to open it up and get at it from the inside. Starting with unscrewing the case and prying it apart. Not all of them are, but you can see this one's all one solid piece, even when removed from the case. I cut away the drill wires since I'll be soldering on my own. Sometimes the motor just falls away, but this one is screwed on. Next, I remove all the parts inside. Keep track of it all so you can put it back together later. In my case, I'm recording it all on video. And lucky me, it looks like this disc with three rods on it is somewhere bolted onto the chuck. So if I can somehow grip those rods firmly enough, then I can unscrew the chuck. But first I remove the balls inside, otherwise I'll probably lose them. I try gripping one of those rods with vice grips, but that doesn't work. Next, I put a flat piece of metal bar with a flat end in my vise. Even a piece of wood might work. Two of those rods will be forced sideways against the end of that bar. Gripping the chuck with some water pump pliers, while the sides of two rods are pressed against the bar, I find it surprisingly easy to loosen the bolt inside. Then, with one finger pressed against one of the rods, I unscrew the chuck the rest of the way. I remove the torque adjuster part, and here's the end result. Next, I put back the balls. The first set of planetary gears, in the second set, and screw on the motor. And here's a drill motor all removed from the drill. I then connect wires to it, and it works great. Success! Of course you'll want to use it for something. Just remember that if you use the screw I removed at the beginning of this video, you tighten it by turning counterclockwise. Here I'm putting some Loctite on the threads, and using it to attach a 3D printed gear for my BB-8 droid. Well, thanks for watching! See my YouTube channel for more fun videos like this. If you want to help support these videos, then you can through my Patreon page. Or you can go to my website and donate any amount you want. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!